Okay guys, so we are going to Peru. We just dropped off my dog, which was so sad, but we're gonna go on a trip with 15 people, 15 of my family members. We're going. We're all going to Peru. Our flight leaves at like 10.45 and it's like an overnight flight. And it's only like six right now, so we're gonna drive up there, do some errands. And then we're gonna go, I'm so excited. This is probably like one of the trips I'm like most excited for, because I just have no idea what to expect because I didn't plan it, which is actually really fun. But let's go, I'm so excited. Let's go. <laughs> We're going to the salt flats today and like some ruins. This is what Jasmine got at the markets already. But now we gotta go to the bus. felt a lot longer because our travel days to get here was crazy. We're staying in Cusco and like, I don't know if you guys can hear it in the background, there's like birds chirping outside my window right now. This trip has been so different because I'm so used to traveling alone and then all of a sudden like there's this trip with 15 people, 15 members of my family, but I've really been enjoying it. It's been so much fun to hang out with my cousins and my grandparents and just talk to them and get closer to my relatives that live in Peru. I've bought in so, I don't even think that's a word, I've bought so many cute things at the market like this little pouch and stuff. And I I just love it. I feel like whenever I get to a new place, it takes about like, I would say less than 24 hours before I'm like, I wanna move here. And that's like literally about every place I go to and Peru is no different, especially since my family lives here. It's just like, I could so see myself moving here or living here if that ever was a possibility. But it's been so fun. And tomorrow we're heading out to Arequipa and I really, I just love Peru. I love the food, I love the people, I love everything about it and it's just a really cool experience. I think it's so good every once in a while to push yourself and see the way that other people live and really try to understand it. And it's crazy because once you do that, you realize like even though people have different ways of life or just like daily routines and stuff, you can think, oh, how can they stand doing that or something like that? But a lot of times these people are way happier than we could even comprehend. And so just understanding that too. And yeah, they're just the kindest people I've met have been from Peru or in Peru, and especially my grandparents. Um, so yeah, this is definitely a trip of a lifetime. If you can go to Peru, go. It's so cool, you learn so much. 
and it's also been a great opportunity to practice my Spanish, but I love Cusco. And even though I've already been before, like I would come back again. Looks off okay, bye guys. He says the day is so tiresome, so I sleep well at night. Josh. He said I raised my kids, even though they weren't my blood. I have played my hand with the hands I so crazy to travel with family for this long. I have never been in a place longer than my home. Like this is the longest I've ever been on a trip in one place, if that makes sense. My family only has like three days left here and I have about a little over a week, but it's just still just so crazy how fast it's all gone by. So I'm trying to like eat as much fruit as I can. Guys, if you ever come to Peru, the mangoes here are like, like that's, the other fruits are like okay, like they're still really like better than the States, but the mangoes are insane. We went zip lining a couple days ago. That was so much fun. I think today we're just gonna explore the city, walk around more, probably do our usual stuff like go get fruit. I think we're also gonna eat lunch with a relative. I love my family here and getting to spend time with them is so fun. So let's go and let's enjoy the last few days here. My brother measures how the sun reached a hand across the bedroom floor, diligently marking. What will I do? 
Hey guys, today is our last official day in Peru, or in Arequipa. I feel like I've been saying that a million times. Tomorrow's the day all my family leaves. Today we just did like a lot of shopping, and right now we're gonna head to these amazing, beautiful rock carvings just a little bit outside of the city. I think they're called this route to Siller or something with Siller, that's a type of rock. I'm gonna go there with my cousin and my uncle, and I'm so excited to have just like one little adventure before we leave. And then I think tonight we're gonna say goodbye to all my family in Arequipa, which will be very sad because it's trip for me at least has felt very quick so I'm sad but it's been so much fun and such good like quality family time with all my cousins and my uncle and my aunt my grandparents it's been so fun so let's go to the last adventure in order to keep uh, the little rock carvings what a thing to see a loved one's fading scene while the film just carries on <laughs> the writers look away when characters die off, but I never closed my eyes. What a strange idea to care for someone else just to let them go. Maybe we were born. To walk each other home Well, I'm glad we got to meet We're running out of time Yet it drags along So play another song Say a slow goodbye Say a slow goodbye Getting old is getting old, and so is being young. 